In Shadowrun 5th Edition, sorcerers skilled in spellcasting can channel mana into damaging effects that can harm, maim, or destroy. This makes them a priority target in combat. When corporate security is yelling, Geek the Mage, you'll want to know the rules for combat spells. There are two types of combat spells, direct and indirect. Direct spells channel mana straight into the target, damaging it from within. Indirect spells create an external energy that originates near the caster's body, then is launched at the target, similar to a projectile. Casting a direct combat spell requires an opposed spellcasting test. The caster rolls their spellcasting plus magic and is limited by the spell's force. The target defends by rolling their body against physical spells or their willpower against mana spells. Don't forget to add any counterspelling dice if applicable. For those curious, spell defense through counterspelling will be covered in more detail in a future video. The damage done is equal to the number of net hits on the opposed test. While the target does get to resist the spellcasting attempt, they do not get to resist any resulting damage. This is one of the strengths of direct combat spells. Most magicians shoot indirect combat spells from their hands, eyes, or even power kicks from their feet. To do this, you do not necessarily need to be able to see your target. You can cast indirect spells blindfolded, but you will need to have a clear line of fire similar to shooting a gun. Casting indirect spells is also an opposed test. In this case, however, the caster's spell casting plus magic, limited by the spell's force again, is pitted against the target's reaction plus intuition. Again, don't forget those counterspelling dice if you've got them. The damage value from a successful indirect spell is equal to the spell's force plus the net hits, with an AP of minus force. Unlike direct combat spells, damage caused by indirect combat spells does get a chance to be resisted. This is soaked through the target's body plus armor minus the spell's AP, or its force. Area indirect spells travel from the mage to a point of detonation and then go boom. These have an additional condition. Your spellcasting test must meet a threshold of 3, or the spell scatters 2d6 meters away from the target. Use the scatter diagram on page 182 of the core rulebook to determine the scatter direction. Hits on the spellcasting test reduce the scatter distance by 1 per net hit, and if the threshold of 3 is met, then your spell lands exactly where you intended it to. Each person caught in the area after any potential scattering will roll reaction plus intuition plus any counterspelling and soak force plus net hits with an AP of minus force as per the rules for indirect spells. Net hits do not add to the damage value of indirect area spells. Thanks for watching. Tell me what you'd like me to do a video on next, and if you liked this video, please consider becoming a patron over at patreon.com slash complexaction. Our patrons help to support the videos we make here, and in return, they get access to thank you rewards. Everything here is made possible by the generous support of our patrons. And thanks again for watching.